Hey, what's up, guys? As you can see by the description of the title of the video, this is going to be story time with PS3 Recoveries, a live talk show. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Um, it's, you know, I'm still going to be uploading game content, all that, every day as always. So, but Wednesday's going to be a double upload day. And on Wednesdays, I want to do the segment called story time. I've had a wild, crazy life, you know partied a lot as a kid you know in high school and all that so i kind of want to share my experiences with you guys you know so i'm going to be telling some stories and i'm going to be you know these aren't going to be like you know shitty stories they you know these are going to be like really good stories so my first story to start it out with is going to be my first time going to a keg party so, my first time going to a keg party was fucking crazy. I grew up in a small town in Massachusetts. Um, a lot of money in this town. Um, granted, my family did not have a lot of money. Um, I'm just giving you guys a little background, a little history on me. Um, by no means were we wealthy at all. You know, just a regular middle class family living in a rich town. You know, I went, you know, all the kids at my school, you know, they all had tons of money, you know, and which was okay. You know, I didn't mind it, but I mean, I had everything I needed, but, you know, we just didn't fall out, you know. So anyways, so the kids I hung out with, my friends, there was like a clique of us. There was like five of us every day after school, we would hang out and we used to hang out at my friend Sean's house. And Sean's house was, I guess you could call it kind of like the party house or whatnot. Um, his parents were cool. They really didn't, you know, monitor us um, at all. They didn't, you know, there's like no guidance or anything. They were like kind of alcoholics. So they were like at the bars or whatnot every day. And we basically had the house to ourselves every day after school. So I was like a freshman in high school. And uh, over there at Sean's house, we used to, you know, smoke pot, you know, and drink beers and stuff like that, you know, when we got out of school. And because, uh, you know, that was just the stuff we used to do back then. You know, we didn't think anything of it. And in my household, I had one brother. My brother was seven years older than me. So that's where we got all of our alcohol from. Basically... If I wanted something, I would just give him the money. He'd go to the store, get it, and I'd go to my friend's house, and we would just party. So we ended up getting the idea of throwing a keg party. So we're all at school, and we're like, man, you know, I think it was like a Thursday or something like that. And we're like, I went to a technical high school, so we had shop one week, and then we had academics the next week. So... <clears throat> in shot class, you know, we all got the, you know, of course, we were all in the same shop because we were all friends. We all took the same shot class, which was machine shop. Um, so basically, we all got the idea. Let's throw a keg party. So they're like, Paul, can you get the alcohol? And I'm like, yeah, no problem. Just give me the money. I'll talk to my brother after school and I'll get it all set up for tomorrow. So they all gave him the money. I ended up getting, we couldn't get kegs per se. So we ended up getting those big Bud Light beer balls. Uh, they hold like 55 beers per beer ball. And you have to have a tap for it. So it's kind of like a keg. So anyways, we, um, we get those. And I had my brother drop me off at the quarry. This is on a Thursday. So I stash them in the woods. And don't mind you, like, this is, like, right when school started. So it was, like, September, you know, just the end of summer. So it was still hot. And the beer sat out there overnight. I covered up with some branches, some leaves. It sat out there over, you know, that day, Thursday, into Friday. After school Friday, we all got together at Sean's house. And there was, like, 15, 20 of us 
and we all go up to the quarries. So we, you know, we're gonna go camping. We all brought tents, sleeping bags. You know, everyone else they brought, you know, vodka. You know, all types of booze. So we all get up there. We start the fire. We set up camp, and then we just start partying. Like, so it's about, uh, I want to say, it's probably like 60 to 70 feet up is the highest cliff. And that's where we set camp up. So this is a huge quarry. Like, it's probably the size of a football field, like, long. And it's probably like half a football field wide. And the highest part is like 60, 70 feet. And that's where we were partying at the highest point. So... You know, we're all partying. It's like 10 o'clock at night, you know, so we're all wasted. We already killed, like, uh, I think it was two beer balls. We're on our last beer ball. We already polished off a couple bottles of vodka, and we're smoking uh, weed, too, so we're completely fucked up. And we're all, like, I want to say we're freshmen, so I was probably, like, 14, 15, something like that. I think I was 14. And, uh, so, my, you know, at any party, there's always someone that gets into a fight with another person. So, I had this friend, Alex, that we used to hang out with us. And there was another kid he had beef with. His name was Scott. And he was from, like, this foster home. His name was Scotty B. Came from this foster home that was in my town. So, I mean, he was an all right kid, but he was, like, from the city, you know, kind of thuggish. I think he was, like, Spanish or something. And uh, this other kid that he got into a fight with, he was Spanish, too. But he was from, like, New York. Um, so he had, like, a big attitude, you know, this and that. But he really good kid. You know, I was friends with him, so we were good friends. But he was just, he was a prick. If you, if you didn't know him, he was a prick. So... Him and Scotty, they, you know, they started having words, you know, of course, they were drinking, liquor's involved, you know, everyone's a big badass when they're drinking, so, Scotty starts running his mouth, Alice is like, yeah, you want to fuck with me? So, he starts going after him, and, like, like, three of us, we broke it up, we're like, dude, you guys are friends, just chill, you know, like, it's nothing, you know, and he, Alice is like, alright, alright, he goes, fuck you, then, he goes, fuck it, I'm over it. So Alex like walks off into the woods and I was like, Dan, you know, you can't walk off into the quarry at nighttime in the woods drunk. There's cliffs all around you, like you can fucking kill yourself. So so easy. So anyway, I go after him and the kid's like behind a rock, like a big boulder, you know, we're at the quarries, big boulders everywhere. He's behind a boulder, like squatting down. I'm like, dude, what the fuck you doing? You alright? You sick? He goes, nah, nah, get the fuck out of here. He goes, I'm taking a shit. I go, what? He's like, yeah, I'm taking a shit. He goes, no, that motherfucker got me so heated. I got to take a shit now. I was like, damn. I'm like, all right, dude. So, you know, I let him do his business. And he comes back to me. Like, I'm at the party hanging out with my friends, drinking by the fire. And uh, he comes up to me. He's like, hey, I got to talk to you. I go, what? What's up? What are you doing? He's like, man. He goes, fuck that kid, Scott. He goes, I know you don't want me to fight. He goes, but, yo, man, you, like, disrespecting me, so I got to get him. And I go, yeah, well, what are you going to do? You know, if you're not going to fight him, what are you going to do? And he's like, I got something planned. He goes, I need you to distract him for me. I go, all right. So I go up. I start talking to him. You know, I think he was going to play, like, a little joke on him or something like that. But he comes up from behind this boulder, right, and he starts walking up to the bonfire. He's got a fucking stick in his hand, and I couldn't really see him, you know, it's night, 10 o'clock at night, you know, we're at the fire, and he's, like, walking off, you know, from the darkness, walking into us, and I couldn't really see what he had, but he took a stick, poked his shit with it, so he's got a big fucking steaming pile of shit log on the tip of his stick, and he's walking up, and he's got this thing held with two fucking hands, like, over his shoulder, like, ready to fucking, like, fling it at him, and I'm like, what the fuck, he's like, Scotty, Scotty doesn't hear him, so he says his name again, Scotty, Scotty, Scotty turns around, and he fucking flung the shit at him, it hit him directly in the face, like, r nose, like, direct impact in the face, I was like, oh, shit, 
it was like a fucking matrix mode. Like, as Scott's turning around, he flings it, and it hits him. Bang! Right in the face. Oh, I started dying. It was the funniest thing I have ever seen. Dude gets hit with a pile of shit right in the fucking face. Oh, I was dying. Scott, he starts flipping out. No, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> he literally jumps off the quarry, mind you, in the water. There's like old cars. There's like a telephone pole. Big boulders, like little islands and shit. You gotta jump off like right in the right spot to hit that deep hole to like not get hurt. Yo, this kid, he wanted that shit off his face so bad. He just jumped without even looking into the water. Luckily, he hit the water, made it out fine. Washed himself off in the water. But he was heated. He gets out of the water. He comes up and he starts going off on this kid. Like, he starts swinging haymakers, and I was like, holy shit. And this kid, Alex, just winds up, bang, right to the fucking head, and just, like, literally dropped him. Didn't knock him out, but just dropped him. He was down for, like, ten minutes. But, dude, that was the most fucked up thing I have ever seen. That was my experience at a keg party. Like, <laughs> unfucking real I was like, man, if this is what keg parties are like, you guys can fucking have them. Like, this is completely fucked up. But that's my first experience of a keg party. Um, so this was story time. Every Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a double upload. I'm going to be doing story time. And I'll be doing another video of Call of Duty or whatever game I'm playing that day. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to smash the like button, comment down below on what you think, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And next week, I will be telling you guys a story about my first time getting laid. And it's a good story. So, if you guys liked it, I'm glad. I'll see you next time. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe.